We're on our own. I have Pharaoh searching for any intel we may have missed yesterday. We'll see what comes up. What do we know so far, sir? I've been analyzing the intel that we have. I got some theories, but nothing concrete. I'm curious to hear what you think happened here. Where do you think those people went? Maybe those T-600s took the people here by surprise and put them on transporters. And uh, what we fought yesterday was just a patrol left to make sure they got everyone. I agree. Their presence here doesn't fit this puzzle. But ultimately, the T-600 is a discontinued series. If Skynet wanted to abduct everyone without a trace, why send an outdated model? It's not impossible that an old Skynet army just wandered in here after everyone had left. As you can see, there's a lot to unpack here and questions keep piling up. At this point, we just have to keep our eyes open. Speaking of which, do you mind checking on Pharaoh? I'm waiting for a status report from her. Yes, sir. God damn it! What's up? I'm trying to get inside the armory. But I suck at this. I'd love to do it the usual way and blow this door wide open, but Reese doesn't want us to make too much noise. Can you help me? Barely anything left. Looks like I lost the bet. You mentioned a bet. What do you mean? Evans has a theory that people here packed and left. I didn't think much of it at first. But an empty armory certainly is a head-scratcher. I guess we've got to keep looking. Speaking of which, I'm supposed to do a sweep of the entire area, but there's a back room on the ground floor that I couldn't get into. It's blocked by a bunch of stuff that I couldn't move. Can you grab Evans and see if the two of you can clear it? Sure. I'll let him know. What do you think about this whole situation? I think it's obvious something fucked up happened here. I'm just mad at myself that I didn't see this coming. How so? Well, whenever Reese gets a direct order from Connor, something's off. I don't know what the deal is between them. They always keep their cards close. So, this happens a lot? More than I'd like it to, that's for sure. I just wish Reese included me since I'm always on these missions anyway. What's Reese like? You've worked with him for a long time. You want to know what Kyle Reese is like? He's like... stone. Or steel. Nothing ever gets to him. For better or worse. What do you mean? This is the first time we've been able to take a minute to ourselves since the failure of our last mission, you know? And he's been up all day trying to figure out our next move. He's able to just disconnect, work himself tirelessly. As if nothing happened. Even if a lot of shit happened. <laughs> that sounds nice. Yeah. I wish I could do that. He seems untouchable. I wonder how he got to be that way. And here I am, trying to hold it together, thinking about the people we lost. And not doing a good job at it. Well, you wanted to know about Reese, not me. That's what he's like. Rivers, report to the communications room when you have a minute. Three, 
Sergeant, what's going on? Someone used an emergency broadcast system to deliver a message. One of ours? Judging by how inaccurate the message is, it's more likely sent by a civilian. One of our missing residents? That's what we'll need to figure out. It's our best lead so far. Then we're moving out soon? No. We leave at dusk. I don't want us to move around in daylight. Oh, and Rivers? There's something else about that message that concerns me. It's been sent from somewhere inside Bakersfield. Isn't that just on the edge of the Annihilation Line? That's right. We're moving out as soon as it gets dark. Now's the time to rest. Pharaoh mentioned there's a back room nearby that needs checking. Can you help me? She said it's a two-man job. Just let me know when. I'm ready. Let's go and see what's in that room. So, is it true? What they said in the car? That you took down a Terminator with your... someone could do that. I was angry. Now focus, we have a job to do. This is it. How do you want to do this? Oh. Check what's inside. I'm heading back. Sarge, 
I've got a hold of some intel regarding someone who used to live just outside the shelter. Permission to follow the lead. Permission granted. Just remember we don't want to alert Skynet to our presence here. So I need you to move undetected. Copy that. We don't need Skynet's eyes on us right now. Doesn't make any sense. Resistance soldiers came to evacuate them? I need to report this to Reese. I found something. A note from someone who witnessed Northridge being evacuated. By what appeared to be resistance soldiers. That's right. That's what I was afraid of. Good job, Rivers. Now that we're certain of what happened here, there's no other way but to follow the signal. Over and out.
We've received permission from HQ to follow the signal. Next stop is Bakersfield. That's two hours away from the nearest resistance outpost. So if it gets too heated, there's no chance of support? That's right. Anyone have a problem with that? No, sir. I've got one thing, Sarge. Farrell? Shotgun. Shotgun? I only brought my rifle. Um... Okay, forget it. This is it. The message was sent from somewhere around here. It wasn't accurate enough to give us the exact location. So to cover more ground, we'll be splitting into two groups. I'll be spotting for Rivers. Evans, you spot for Pharaoh. What exactly are we looking for, sir? Any signs of civilian activity. No one's been in the area for a long time, so report anything you see. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rules of engagement, sir. Fire at will. Let's move out. Rivers, let's go. Where do we start? There used to be a non-military checkpoint at an old command center in this area. That's where I want you to go first. Terminator's 12 o'clock. What do we do? We could let him pass. It's your call. The building over there is a good vantage point. I'll be able to navigate you from there. Are you sure you're ready to do this on your own? Yes, sir. All right, then. Just keep your radio close. Good luck, Rivers. HK aerial flying by. We don't have enough firepower to destroy it, so keep an eye on it. If it searchlight spots you, you're out of luck. I'm at the top. I got a good view from here. I can see that the HK could be a problem. Rivers, I've noticed something. There's a Skynet antenna not far from your position. I think that HK is part of its surveillance. That's why it keeps popping up. Anything we can do about it? It's too dangerous. These types of facilities usually have their generators deep underground. First, you need a way to get down there. So you're saying I need a rope? I don't think you're hearing me, Rivers. 
But technically speaking, yeah, you need a rope. <laughs>